I hate buying new jeans. For me, it always starts with a very high pile of textiles and they're all tried and dismissed until eventually one fairly fits. Unfortunately, a rather similar process holds for the treatment of mental disorders such as depression or eating disorders where therapies are applied and medications are prescribed until eventually in the best case improvement sets in. Now let's take a step back. Wouldn't it be easier to start by measuring my legs and then search for an item that fits? And what if we could measure the specific dysfunctions in the brain to offer tailored treatment? Here is an example. Binge eating is a key symptom in many eating disorders. It describes eating very large amounts of food and feelings of loss of control over eating. Some researchers find that people suffering from binge eating show alterations in decision making and are more sensitive to rewards than others, which makes them prone to overeating. Other researchers find that people suffering from binge eating are less sensitive to rewards, which also may explain the overeating as a compensatory behavior. Is this a contradiction or rather the result of different measurement techniques? Or maybe both are true. In my thesis, I address the question whether binge eating is the result of fluctuations in reward sensitivity over time. These fluctuations could then lead to both higher and lower sensitivity to rewards. Together with my colleagues, we have developed an online game called Influenza, where people have to make simple choices between two options that lead to either wins or losses. The project is a fully open science project. That means that everyone can just download the app from our website and play along. By that, we have collected thousands of choices over the past month of people with very different personalities, mental conditions, eating habits, with complicated mathematical modeling, we get parameters that provide measures of human decision-making and give hints about the underlying brain functions. A cool feature of the online game is that it can be played with multiple levels and over days. By that, we can collect repeated data sets of the same person along with mood and other momentary states. And that allowed us to relate the measures of decision-making to changes in situations and to observe variability of the measures within a person. Regarding future clinical use, the app is easily applicable and could as well serve as diagnostic tool to measure specific alterations in the brain and prepare custom fit treatment similar to individually tailored clothing.